So here we have seen that a factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number. Also that means that when it divides the number the remainder left must be 0 in this particular case or we can take it with it some examples also. Let us check it out. So here if I divide 16 what are the factors of 16 if we find out? If I say if I divide 16 by 1 the remainder here will give me 0. So I can say that 1 is a divisor of 16 and since it is giving the remainder as 0 so it will also be a factor of 16. Second suppose if I divide 16 by 2 here the divisor is 2 and 16 divided by 2 you will get 8 where the remainder will come out to be 0. So we can conclude here that 2 is also a factor of 16. Also 16 divided by 4 will give you a result remainder as 0. So 4 is also a factor of 16. Furthermore 8 if we divide 16 by 8 again we get a remainder as 0. It shows that 8 is a factor of 16. Also 16 the number 16 divided by 16 here will result into a remainder 0. So 16 is also a factor of itself that is 16 and here you know we will have certain rules which we will be following which will be very clear from this small example only which indicates that 1, 2, 4, 8 they all are the factors of 16 as well as 16 is also a factor of 16. So this is the conclusion part from this that the numbers whichever are the divisors and which results in the remainder as 0 will be the factors of the given number. Next let us see, let us play a game for this. You all are interested in the game. So here you can see certain numbers from 1 to 50. Let us see what we have to do. We have to let us have two players, player A and player B. So first of all player A she picks up a card from the table and then keeps it with her. Assume yourself as player A and you can play it with your friends as well. So let you be player A in this case and you keep a card any number with you. Suppose the card you have taken is 28. Then player B your friend, your friend pick up all those cards having the numbers which are the factors of the number on A's card that is on your card. So the, your card was 28. So your friend will choose all the factors of 28 and puts them in a pile near him. For example, what are the factors of 28 now? Let us find out that 28 comes in the table of which all numbers? So you can find out that it comes in the table of 1, it comes in the table of 2, it comes in the table of, does it come in the table of 3? Let us find it out in the table of 4. Yes, you say 4 7s are 28. So it comes in the table of 4 also. Does it come in the table of 5, in 6, in 7? Where? So it will come in the table of 7 also. And any other number? So yes, we conclude that it will come in the table of 14 also. After 7, you will have a number 14 in which 28 will appear. After 14, you will find out that 28 is the number in which the number 28 up here. So your friend will have a pile of the numbers 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. All these numbers your friend will make a pile of it. Now let's have the third player C which entry which enters here. Then player C picks up a card from the table and then keep it with him. Any table from that card from the cards that are left. So your friend has already have a pile then the third player will pick up the pile from the numbers which are not included in the pile and what are the factors of the numbers on the B's card. So on B's card there were the numbers 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. So C will find out all the factors of these numbers okay and the numbers should not be collected by friend B. In that case the game continues like until all the cards here are used up and of course you will see here one you will note one more thing here that the number you have chosen was 28 and none of the factor can be greater than 
28. So all the factors below 28 are covered up until you can play this game. It's a very interesting. Try it up with your friends. Also, let's switch on to the next segment here. A will add up the sum on the cards. One more thing, who is the winner? What will be the conclusion of the game? That also we have to find out. So here, let's find out. A will add up the numbers on the card that he has collected. B too will add the same card, the numbers on the card which are collected by B. And the player C also will add up the numbers. And the player with the greatest sum will be the winner. So try with your friends again. Now, let's move on to the next segment. Now, play this game with your friend. Here you can find some way to win the game. For example, 20 is the number. Let's take 20. You can write it as 4 times 5. So you will keep the card with the 4 and card with the number 5 here. So we say 4 and 5 are the factors of 20. We also say that 20 is a multiple of 4 and 5. These two words, factors and multiples, we'll be using very frequently and let's have it in detail now. What are the factors and multiples? If I write 24 is a number where I can write it as 2 times 12. Now here we concluded two things that 2 and 12 are the factors of 24 whereas 24 is a multiple of 2 and 12. Now suppose if I give you a number 3, how can we find the multiples of it? Let us find it out. See, if 3 is written, 2 times 3 is written, 3 times if I write 3, if I write 3, 4 times repetition, also it may be a number of times. Let it be 5 times or it may be 6 times or so on. So here you have 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15. So here we can say 3 can be written as 1 times of 3. Also, we can say 3 plus 3 is 6. You know, 3 plus 3 here is 6, which indicates that 2 times 3 is also 6. Again, we can say 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. Or since it is 3 times repetition, we can also write 9 as 3 times 3. So here we conclude that where various multiples of 3 can be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. They can conclude further. So we say they all are the multiples of 3. Similarly, what are the multiples of 4? You know, you can, you already know the table of 4. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and so on till where? You don't know that because there can be infinite multiples of the number 4. In the same way, we can conclude few points from our discussion. And the point says, like 1 time 1 is 1, we have concluded with the example here, 1 into 6 gives you 6, 1 into 18 also gives you 18. That shows what? That 1 is a factor of 1. 1 is also a factor of 6. 1 is also a factor of 18. That means if you multiply 1 by any number, you will get that number, right? Also, we can say, if I multiply 6 by 1, I get 6. If I multiply 18 by 1, I get 18. That means a number will always have two factors. One of the factor will be 1 and the second factor will be the number itself. Isn't it a very good thing to find two factors for every number? Suppose if I give you what is the factor of 7. So you can say easily the factor of 7 is 1 and 7. What is the factor of 24? So the factor of 24 is 1 and 24. There may be some more factors to it, but minimum a number will have two factors always. There will not be less than two factor and one is a factor of every number. Any number you take, one will be its factor. Also, the number itself will be a factor. Can 7 be a factor of itself? Let's check it out. 7 times 1 is 7. So yes, 7 is a factor of 7. Of course, we can say so. Every number is a factor of itself, right? You can conclude one and the number itself will always be a factor of that particular number. These are very important points. Let's come take few more examples. What are the factors of 16? So, I can say 16 can be written as, in the, it comes in the table of 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. As we have seen already in the divisor part, 
right? When you divide 16 by 1 or by 2 or by 4 or by 8 or by 16, the remainder is 0. So, it shows that 16 has a factor 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. So, they are all the factors. You can try the same for 20, 36 or any number of your choice and find the factors of that number. But of course, you conclude that every factor of that number is an exact divisor of that number. What do you mean by the statement now? Let us find out one more way out. So, here if I say, if I take a number like 20 or 16, if I divide 16 by any of its factor, for example, 8, then I should get a remainder equal to 0. That shows when a remainder is 0, the number will be a factor of that particular number. So, here we can say we have concluded one thing that every factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number. Whatever number you are taking and if you are dividing by any number and you are getting a remainder as 0, then the divisor will be the factor of that particular number. Very simple thing. So, here we go <coughs> with the next thing. Now, let us take few more examples. What are the factors of 34? So, 34 comes in the table of which all numbers? So, you find that it will come in the table of 1 because 1 is a factor of every number. So, here now let us try with some more thing. What are the factors of a number 34? So, if I ask you two factors, very simple answer should be 1 and 34. Two different factors of a number will be number 1 and the number itself. So, here directly two numbers are there. Does 34 comes in any other table also? That means, can we say that do we have any other factor of 34? So, yes, you know that it is an even number. So, it comes in the table of 2 and 2 multiplied by 17 gives you 34. That means it should come in the table of 17 also. So, here we can say 1, 2, 17 and 34. They all are the factors of the number 34. Similarly, what is the greatest factor here? We find out that 34 is the greatest factor and which is the smallest factor? The smallest factor here is 1. So, two conclusions here are the factors other than 34 are 1, 2 and 17 and all these three factors are less than the number itself, isn't it? Yes, the number 1, the factor 1, 2 and 17 will be smaller than the given number to you. So, in all we can say the factor of a number will be either equal to the number or it will be less than the number, but it will not be greater than the number. Let us see. With example 64, 81 and 56, you try it on your own. You will find out that none of the factor of these number will be greater than itself. So, the number itself will be the greatest factor. Now, we say that every factor is less than or equal to the given number. Whatever is the given number, all the factors will be equal to or it will be less than the given number here. Now, moving on to the next segment, let us find out how many factors does 136 or 96 have. Find it on your own, you can easily find out. If I ask you the question, what is the factor of 10,576 or if I ask you what is the factors of 25,642 or any such big number, how will you find out the factors? Now, to find out the factors, it bit, seems a bit difficult because we do not know all the numbers in which table these number will appear. So, here there is a trick to it and we use a method of prime factorization which we will also deal in the chapter. The, the here, but we need to conclude one thing, number of factors of a given number are finite. We will not say there are many, there is a certain number for it that shows that there should be either less than the number or it should be a finite number here. Now, let us find some more factors of a number. If I give you a number 7 to 6, what are the factors or how many factors are there for 7 to 6? So, just find it out on your own and let me tell you how many factors should be there. So, 7 to 6 will have 6 factors. What are the factors? Let me find, tell. So, we can write 7 to 6 as 1 multiplied by 7 to 6. Also, we can write 7 to 6 as 4 into 19. We can also write it as 2 into 38, right? It can be arranged first and then this way. So, in all, how many factors are there? They have 1, 
it comes in all these tables. So, we can conclude in this part that there are 6 factors of number 76 and the 6 factors will be 1, 2, 4, 19, 38 and 76. They are all the 6 factors of the number 76. Similarly, you can find out for any such number. Let us proceed now. Every multiple of a number, what about that? It should be greater than or equal to that number, is it? Let us see, is it true or not? Suppose we take any number, 5, let me take a number, 5. What are the multiples of 5? Multiples of 5 will be 5, 10, we will have 15, we may have 20. They all are the multiples of 5. That shows, can it be continued further? Yes, we may have 25, 30, 35 and so on. So, how many multiples can a number have? It will have infinite such numbers. So, the number of multiples of a given number is infinite. Where we have done the factors of a number is finite. And the multiples of a number will be infinite. Right? So, also we can do. Is every number a multiple of itself? Yes. If I take a number 5, 5 will come in the table of 5. So, it is a multiple also. Is it a factor also? Yes. 5 is a factor of 5 as well as a multiple of 5. If you take any other number, if you take say 12, so is 12 a factor of 12? Yes, because when we divide 12 by 12, the remainder will be 0. So, 12 will be a factor of 12 because a number itself is a factor of itself. And is it a multiple also? Yes, 12 will come in the table of 12. So, 12 is a multiple of 12 also. So, we can say every number is a multiple of itself as well as every number is a factor of itself. These are very two important points. Also, what is a perfect number? A perfect number is a number for which the sum of all its factors equal to twice the number. Okay. For example, let me take a number 6. Okay. So, what are the factors of 6? We know that the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Okay. So, let us add them or add all the factors of 6. What is the answer? Let us find out. The factors when added together will give you the number 12. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 is 12. Right. And if is it twice of the given number? Is it twice of 6? Yes, twice of 6 means 2 times of 6. So, if I multiply 6 by 2, I also get 12. So, I can say 6 is a perfect number, right? But are all the numbers perfect number? No, we cannot say that all numbers are perfect. There are few numbers only which are perfect numbers. You can try it out with the number 5. If you take 5 as a number, what are the factors of 5? The factors of 5 will be 1 and 5. And if we add them together, we have 1 plus 5 gives you 6. Whereas, twice of the number 5 will give you 10 and they will not be equal. So, we will say 5 is not a perfect number. You can try the same with the number 28. We have already done it. What are the factors of 28? Let us find it out. We have written it. The factors of 28 are like 1, 2, 3, no, 4. Then we have 7. Then we have the number 28. Have we missed up any number here? Let's, how can we check it out that we missed or not? So, for that we can write 28 as 1 times 28. Also, it can be written as 2 into 14. Also, we can write it as 4 times 7. So, here we notice one thing that we missed a number 14 from this. So, the factor of 28 will also include 14 here. So, let me write here 7, then 14, then 28. Okay. Let us add them all together. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14 plus 28. Find out what is the sum. You will get to know 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 14 is 28 
and 28 plus 28 you will get the number 56 and is 56 twice of 28 yes so we find out that 28 is a perfect number okay so we got two perfect numbers one is 6 one is 28 try with some more numbers you'll find out whether they are perfect or not let's move on to the next thing the next slide prime and the composite numbers what are prime numbers and what are composite numbers are very important and which we have been doing it in our junior classes as well so prime numbers for that let's see what are prime numbers we have a number we have a table in with 1 to 12 as the number written all the factors of the number and writing how many factors are there for each number so 1 will have a factor as 1 2 will have a factor 1 and 2 only 3 will have a factor 1 and 3 similarly 4 has 3 factors they are 1 2 and 4 then we have 5 the factors of 5 are 1 and 5 for 6 we have 1 2 3 and 6 then we have 7 factor is 1 and 7 factors of 8 9 10 11 and 12 from this we conclude that these are the number of factors and out of all these examples we have concluded one more thing that the factors will all the numbers have one as a factor right and the second factor will be the number itself 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 what is the factor of 10 here I missed one more thing so here it should be 10 11 and 12 so they are all the factors of the number we need to write a number here that is this is 10 include a 0 over here okay so now we can say what are the prime numbers the prime numbers will be the numbers which will have only two factors so only two factors we have here here for this number for this number for this number so we can say 2 3 5 7 11 since they all are having only two factors that shows these will be called as the prime numbers so let's find let's conclude the part as for the prime numbers we can say 